I'm really emotional. And I'm also really tired. I never wanted to come off as me being ungrateful for the opportunities I have. I can also be having the greatest... I'm feeling incredibly emotional and exhausted right now, but I want to make something clear I'm never ungrateful for the opportunities I've been given. I can be having the best time of my life, yet at the same time I just wish people would stop sending me death threats. It's a strange mix of feelings, I know. Perhaps this seems like an odd takeaway, but the constant negativity takes its toll, even in the middle of good news. Speaking of news, Disney's upcoming Snow White remake is facing even more setbacks. The controversy surrounding this film just keeps growing, and to make matters more intense, there's now another Snow White movie in the works, titled Snow White and the Evil Queen. The producer of this version claims it will be far more faithful to the spirit of the original animated classic. It's interesting to think about Walt Disney's original vision for Snow White. He once said that to him, the story was perfect. But it seems the company he founded no longer shares the same sentiment. That disconnect feels even more apparent now, as the remake is drawing sharp criticism from various corners. In a surprising twist, the conservative media company, The Daily Wire, is throwing its hat into the ring with their own live-action rendition of Snow White, starring Brett Cooper. They're not just remaking the movie, they're also launching a rival children's entertainment network called Bentkey. Regardless of how you feel about the politics behind it, you have to respect their ambition. They're putting their money where their mouth is, challenging Disney directly. When the creators of Disney's remake talk about bringing a modern edge to the story, they've clarified that Snow White will no longer be saved by a prince. That entire trope has been discarded. And while that may be a bold move for some, others wonder why the original magic of the story had to be altered so drastically. The 1937 cartoon may feel outdated, but at its heart, it was about love, dreams, and a sense of wonder. What's strange is how Disney has handled this whole situation. You had a beloved story, cherished by generations, and all that was needed was a faithful retelling. Yet they've taken liberties that have left many fans feeling alienated. Rachel Ziegler, who plays the new Snow White, has faced backlash for her modern take, which focuses on female empowerment and leadership instead of love and romance. It's a shift that has sparked intense debate, especially when compared to Brett Cooper's casting in The Daily Wire's adaptation. Cooper, known for her unapologetic views and pushback against woke narratives, is now front and center in a cultural showdown. Fans are picking sides, with many supporting her return to a more traditional portrayal of the beloved princess. This is no longer just a competition between two movies, it's a battle of ideologies. Meanwhile, The Daily Wire's take seems to be tapping into nostalgia. They're offering a version of Snow White that echoes the timeless fairy tale, with a more classic interpretation of the character fans longing for a faithful adaptation are rallying behind Cooper, feeling that Disney's modern spin is more of a betrayal than an update. With both films set to release next year, it's gearing up to be the Snow White showdown of a generation. One thing is for sure this debate isn't just about a movie, it's about the values, traditions, and narratives people hold dear. And it's clear that Snow White will never be just a simple fairy tale again. For generations, Snow White symbolized romance, innocence, and the magic of true love. The original 1937 animated classic is beloved by many for its enchanting simplicity and fairy tale ending. However, when Rachel Ziegler, cast as the new Snow White in Disney's live-action remake, decided to take the story in a drastically different direction, it sparked widespread controversy. Ziegler's decision to eliminate the prince as a love interest and recast Snow White as a self-reliant leader wasn't just a creative choice it was seen by many as an unnecessary rewriting of a story that, to them, was perfect as it was. Adding to the controversy were Ziegler's public statements, where she openly criticized the original narrative. She referred to the 1937 Snow White as outdated, dismissing its portrayal of love and happily ever after as irrelevant in today's world. But perhaps the most incendiary of her remarks was when she labeled Prince Charming a creepy stalker a comment that did not sit well with fans of the classic fairy tale. There's a big focus on her love story, with a In Zegler's version, Snow White dreams of becoming a leader, not finding love. The prince? He's not part of the equation. This vision of a modern, independent Snow White has angered those who feel it strays too far from the original fairy tale. But for those tired of traditional damsel in distress narratives, it's a welcomed change. Apparently, it's like the triple threat podcast acting. Right. Uh, and they announced it the other week. It's going to be coming out next year. 
God, I hope they'd slay Disney. Guy who literally stalks her, so we didn't do that this time. Ziegler said in interviews, casting the traditional romantic lead in a far more sinister light than audiences were used to. Many fans found this take not only unnecessary but also disrespectful to the nostalgia and emotional connection they had to the original film. Instead of being seen as bold or empowering, Ziegler's comments felt like a direct attack on the sacred nature of the original Snow White. Fans weren't just reacting to a new interpretation they saw it as a complete dismantling of a story they held dear. Social media buzzed with reactions, with some people questioning why Ziegler took on a role in a film whose original message she seemed to disdain. If you hate the source material so much, why do the movie? Was a common refrain. It's not unusual for filmmakers to take liberties with classic stories, but in this case it felt as though Disney and its cast were rewriting history and not in a way that sat well with the core audience. Even the son of the original Snow White director spoke out against the remake. He expressed that both his father and Walt Disney would be turning in their graves over what he called a woke reinterpretation of the beloved classic. His comments only fueled the already fiery debate over whether modern sensibilities should be applied to stories that were never meant to be about social or political commentary. Many fans echoed this sentiment, arguing that if Disney wanted to tell a new, feminist story, they should create an original character instead of altering one that had already stood the test of time. Ziegler's focus on turning Snow White into a strong leader and stripping away the elements of romance and traditional fairy tale tropes wasn't the only issue. Her demeanor during interviews, where she spoke dismissively of the original Snow White movie, further alienated classic Disney fans. These fans longed for the aspects of Snow White they had always cherished true love, innocence, and fantasy. To them, the story was a form of escapism, a magical world far removed from modern-day political discourse. They wanted a fairy tale ending, not a version of Snow White laced with feminist rhetoric and social commentary. Meanwhile, Brett Cooper, a rising conservative star from The Daily Wire, stepped into the role of Snow White in a competing live-action adaptation produced by the conservative media company. Cooper's version, Snow White and the Evil Queen, promised to stay true to the traditional story, preserving the elements of romance, innocence, and magic that fans of the original had long embraced. Unlike Ziegler, Cooper's portrayal sought to reject the woke reimagining of Snow White, opting instead for a rendition that upheld the values and themes of the original animated film. Both films are set to release next year, but it's clear that this isn't just about which version of Snow White audiences prefer, it's about which set of values they identify with more. Many fans of the classic Snow White were quick to voice their preference for Cooper's version. In their eyes, Ziegler's remake was not just a departure from the original, it was an affront to the timeless values that made the story so beloved in the first place. For them, the charm of Snow White was that it represented a simpler time, free from the complexities of modern political discourse. They saw Ziegler's take as unnecessarily divisive, injecting social commentary, where it wasn't needed or wanted. It Meanwhile, supporters of Ziegler's version argue that modern audiences demand more from their fairy tales. They believe that traditional stories like Snow White need to evolve to remain relevant. For them, the focus on female independence and leadership is a natural and necessary progression. In a world where women are increasingly expected to be strong, independent, and self-reliant, why should their fairy tale counterparts be any different? Ziegler's Snow White, they argue, reflects the values of a new generation one that doesn't need a prince to come to the rescue. As the competition between these two versions of Snow White has become a battleground of cultural ideologies. On one side, Disney's modernized take emphasizes female empowerment, independence, and the rejection of traditional love stories. On the other, the Daily Wire's adaptation promises to stick closely to the original fairy tale, avoiding any politically charged messages. Snow White actress yeah. hating Snow White and like ripping on the 1937 original and the so on and so forth and sort of mocking intensifies it's becoming clear that Snow White is no longer just a story about a girl a prince and an evil queen it has become a symbol of the broader cultural divide between those who long for traditional narratives and those who seek to rewrite them for modern times whether fans will embrace Ziegler's empowered Snow White or rally behind Cooper's nostalgic take remains to be seen, but one thing is certain the debate surrounding this timeless tale is far from over. The ongoing debate surrounding the new Snow White adaptations has sparked intense cultural conversations about tradition, change, and how much room there is for reimagining classic stories.
This isn't just a battle over a fairy tale princess, it's a microcosm of a broader cultural divide that pits those who embrace modernized storytelling against those who long for the timeless values these tales were originally built upon. At the heart of the debate is the distinction between what Snow White represents in the live-action remake led by Rachel Zegler and Disney and the conservative reinterpretation from The Daily Wire featuring Brett Cooper. Both versions represent vastly different visions of what the story should look like in today's world. Yet, the creators of The Daily Wire's version emphasize they are not trying to turn Snow White into something it isn't. As they put it, they aren't attempting to make Snow White into a MAGA conservative movie but instead aim to stay true to the timeless values that have made the original so beloved. They are preserving the core themes of love, romance, and magic, which are often overshadowed in modern remakes. The sentiment from The Daily Wire reflects a frustration many conservative viewers feel with mainstream pop culture. Rather than simply criticizing Disney's version of Snow White for being too woke or diverging from its roots, The Daily Wire is taking action. By creating their own adaptation, they're offering audiences an alternative of film that sticks to the traditional values and storytelling techniques that Snow White has always stood for. As they've noted, this is a prime example of the variety that free markets allow. People who don't agree with Disney's reimagined version have the opportunity to choose The Daily Wire's adaptation, showcasing the beauty of competition and choice in entertainment. The contrast between these two Snow White adaptations embodies the diversity of opinion that makes the film industry so dynamic. Some parents, families, and young women might be drawn to Rachel Zegler's version, where Snow White is reimagined as an independent leader, free from the traditional Prince Charming narrative. Others may prefer the original tale of romance and fantasy gravitating towards The Daily Wire's take, which retains the iconic love story and classic fairy tale structure. The reality is that audiences can now choose, and that choice is something worth celebrating. The Daily Wire's foray into film production also marks a pivotal moment for conservative media in Hollywood. Instead of merely expressing discontent with the cultural direction of mainstream entertainment, they're producing their own content, offering an alternative for viewers who feel alienated by the political narratives often embedded in modern remakes. The inspiration for this alternative Snow White adaptation came after a widely circulated interview in which Rachel Ziegler expressed disdain for the original movie. In that interview, she stated that she hated the original version and thought that Snow White was outdated. That's me. That I'm so what? It's about me so over for Disney because the conservative character. media company for Daily Wire is fans. This was yet another instance of Hollywood altering beloved characters to fit modern political ideals rather than staying true to the source material. In contrast, Brett Cooper's casting as Snow White in the Daily Wire's version was celebrated by those who felt Disney had taken things too far in their efforts to modernize and rewrite their own history. Cooper's outspoken support for staying true to the original story including keeping the love interest and happily ever after ending, struck a chord with audiences who were weary of Hollywood's frequent reimagining of classic tales. Cooper's portrayal of Snow White is seen as more than just another casting decision. It's viewed as a declaration that traditional values still have a place in modern entertainment. By sticking closely to the original narrative, Cooper and The Daily Wire are rejecting the idea that every story needs to be reshaped to fit today's political or social trends. Fans who have grown tired of Hollywood's so-called woke. Reimaginings have rallied behind Cooper's version, sharing memes and hashtags like Not Me Snow White, which have trended across social media platforms. These fans feel that The Daily Wire's adaptation is a return to classic storytelling, something they believe the film industry desperately needs. But not everyone agrees. Supporters of Zegler's version argue that the changes to Snow White reflect necessary progress. They believe that fairy tales, like all stories, should evolve to remain relevant to modern audiences. For them, the new version of Snow White represents an empowered female character who doesn't need a prince to save her, a reflection of the values many women hold today. Ziegler's Snow White is seen as a symbol of female independence and leadership, which resonates with a younger, more progressive audience. This clash of perspectives has turned what might have been a simple remake into a cultural battleground. On one side, Fans of Cooper's version embrace the traditional magic, romance, and happily ever afters they grew up with. 
On the other side, supporters of Ziegler's version applaud its modern twist and the rejection of outdated tropes. Both sides are deeply passionate, and as the release dates for the film's approach, it's clear that the debate over which Snow White is the real Snow White it will continue to dominate discussions. Ultimately, the controversy surrounding Snow White speaks to a larger struggle within the entertainment industry. As Hollywood increasingly pushes for more politically conscious storytelling, there is a growing demand from certain segments of the audience for films that remain true to their traditional roots. Whether you support Zegler's bold, progressive reimagining or Cooper's preservation of the classic tale, one thing is certain the competition between these two versions reflects a deeper cultural debate about what role stories should play in shaping our modern world.